So whether it's a beginner runner, someone coming back after a long off season, or an injured runner getting back to running, the way in which you run has significant influence on injury potential and just enjoying the run. Typically you're looking at alignment and the way force is applied to that alignment. There are four ways to think about how you run that can uh, help hedge your bets on success. First is the amount of impact you load you bring to the ground. How light are you on your feet? You don't have to be whisper quiet running through the woods without disturbing a leaf, but it just should be a nice, comfortable, light on your feet style. That'll mitigate the force that you impact the ground with, which conversely limits what your body experiences from that contact. Secondly is cadence. You'll see a variety of numbers on cadence of how quickly should you turn over your feet when you run. Two benchmark numbers. On the low side, 160. What I'll see is when people get below 160 foot strikes, it's right and lefts per minute, you're going to see an increase in injury prevalence. Why? Because even though there are fewer steps, there's more impact with each one. On the upper side of that range, you're looking at about 184. When I, when I look at uh, US Cross Country Nationals top 10 men and women, the average is about 184 uh, strikes per minute, and that's uh, uh, the same across gender. So typically with the runners, don't go too slow. That impact force is going to cause injury potential, and you'll feel that more fatigue, heavier on your fit, feet feel that you don't want to encounter. Thirdly is body position. You don't want to lean excessively forward. The forward lean should come from the ankles, not a forward lean at the waist. When you lean too far forward, your upper body mass gets pitched forward and physics starts working against you. You have more mass sitting up front. It causes a lot more anterior or front sided knee pain, as well as you will start to limit your arm motion if you get pitched forward a little too far because you'll get on the edge of keeping your balance. When you limit your arms, you limit your legs. And so an excessive forward trunk lean actually is one of the most common impediments of performance. Lastly, what do your arms do? Uh, if you limit your arms, again, you limit your legs, but you can use that to your advantage. And uh, what you want to think about is where the back of your hand uh, extends to relative to the torso. You want that back of the hand to come to about a midpoint on the torso at least, uh, so that you drive your legs effectively. If the back of the hand sits in that first third of the torso, you're shortchanging yourself. You're leaving performance on the table. And uh, as a runner, you're always looking to tap into whatever performance tools you may have at your uh, disposal. So all the uh, technique aside, what does it mean? You're a little light on your feet and uh, you enjoy your run.